Good afternoon or morning, whatever time it is for you. I'm uh, Mr. Venable, and today we'll be talking about writing in binary. Now, binary essentially is when we write in base 2. What that is is uh, numbers, if you've ever seen this, 1010001010, one, zero, one, zero, 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 one, zero, one, zero, numbers that look like just like this now, you could read this as, you know, some number 1 million or 1 billion or something, but when you see this and there's no commas and it's in, in regards to computers, this is, this is in binary code. Maybe you've seen that on in movies like The Matrix or uh, other movies. Um, what it is, is it's a way that, uh, the base way that computers and circuits on a very basic level communicate. Now, our system is a base 10 number system. So if you look at the number 4,357. All right, just by the way we read that, 4,000. This, this 4 isn't worth 4, it's worth 4 times 1,000. This 3 isn't worth 3, it's worth 3 times, it's 300, 3, three times 100. 50, T is the suffix we use for something times 10, so it's 50 is really 5 times 10, and this 7 is really 7 times 1. These are all powers of 10. You'll recognize most of them. All right, 1,000 is 10 to the third. 3 is, uh, the tens place, uh, the hundreds place here is 10 squared. The tens place is 10 to the first. Now the sevens place is 10 to the zero. Uh, I'll make another video if you need to be convinced that 10 to the zero is one, but the basic concept is this. If you think of something as like, if I have 7 to the fifth over 7 squared, well, we've got 7 times 7 times 7 times 7 times 7. That's five of those over 7 times 7. All right, I'm going to reduce here. And these don't cancel out to zero. Some people make that mistake. These are not gone. It's just they reduce to one. We divide it. Seven divided by seven is one. All right. So this is, I know I could write uh, 343 or is what that comes out to, I believe. But just seven to the third power, I can simplify that and keep it in exponential form. And also notice that what if we had like this? What if we have seven to the fifth over seven to the fifth? All right. Now we know that's one. But here's the shortcut. I can subtract the exponents. You know, 7 to the 5th over 7 to the 2nd. When the base is the same, you can subtract the exponents when you're dividing. Alright, I know I can subtract the exponents here, really, if I wanted to. So I could also write 7 to the 5th over 7 to the 5th as, oh, 7 to the, here 7 to the 5 minus 2 is 3. 7 to the 5 minus 5, it's 7 to the 0. So, and that's actually true for any number. That's always say something to the 0 power is 1. So, going to... Binary though. Let's convert from a base 10 number. Let's take 57. All right. Again, sevens in the ones place. The fives in the tens place. So this is really worth 50. Five times 10 plus seven. Seven times one. I want to write that in a base two system, which instead of being based on powers of 10, it's based on powers of two. So if we take, a, actually, I'll do this a little neater. Um, I'll use my my grid on one note here. Alright, so make some little lines here, and I'll make my little separator lines for my columns uh, for my powers of 2. Forgive me for those not being uh, super uh, straight. Alright, so we have, I'm going to write the number 57 in a base 2 system. Now, a base 2 system is based on powers of 2, so we have the 2 to the 0 place. Alright, let me see, let me keep the same formatting I wrote here. Alright, so let's, we got our 2 to the 0 place, which is your 1's place. You'll always have a 1's place, for whatever your base is. 2 to the 1st, 2 to the 2nd, 2 cubed, 2 to the 4th, 2 to the 5th. I could go to 2 to the 6th. Alright, can I extend that out there? Alright, now all of these are powers of 2. The powers of 2 are 2 to the 0 is 1, 2 uh, to the 1st is 2, 4, 8, uh, 16, 32, and you could say uh, 64. Now notice this, we read, read this number as 57, what's in the hundreds place on 57? Well, there's nothing there. There's a zero there, but we don't write preceding zeros. Same thing here, the number 57, because we, we can't fit 100 in 57, same thing, we can't fit 64 in 57, so I'm going to write a zero here, but just like we didn't put the preceding zero, I'm not going to put it there. Here we have uh, 5, um, you know, uh, I'm sorry, we have uh, 57. All right, I can fit 32 in 57, so I do 57. I counted for 32. I've got 25 left. So I, I put a 1 here because I can fit 1, 32, in 57. All right, then I'll look at uh, 60, 16, okay, um, which is 2 to the 4th. So this is my 16s place. You can think of it that way when you're in base 2. 
All right, so I can fit, uh, and I, this is sloppy. This is not 24, it's 2 to the 4th there. All right, so I can fit a 16 here, which leaves me 9. So I can fit 1 16, I account for that. All right, so I counted for it. Now I can fit an 8 in that 9, which is my next place here. So I count for 1 8. So there's only one left. Can I fit a 4 in what's left? No. Can I fit a 2 in what's left, the 1? No, I can't. Can I fit a 1? All right, yes, I can fit a 1. And so, you know, you count it for that 1 and you have nothing left. So you add up the whole number. And here you can see is this is really, this 1 isn't worth 1. Just like this 5 wasn't worth 5. This 5 was worth 5 times 10. This 1 is worth 1 times 32. All right, so this is really 32 plus, this, here we have a 16 plus 8 because I have a 1. Do I do plus 4? No, I don't. I'll do plus zero because this is zero times four, so I don't count that. Oh, I'll do another plus zero here because I, I'd have nothing in the twos place, just like I had nothing in the fours place. And I have one in the ones place, which is worth one. If you add 32 plus 16 plus eight plus one, you should get 57. All right, so that's how to write from base 10 to, uh, to base two. So 57 in base 10, is equal to one 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 zero zero one in base two. Now in the next video I'll show you how to convert from base two numbers to base ten numbers.